I must, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls and people, put on my glasses, the better to see you. I am Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business, and physics we are about to do strange, uncommon things. I remind you to imagine yourself in front of a mirror. There you are. There you are. And we ask, what is the nature of what you see? The image here, the image here, is as far behind the mirror as the object is in front. It is erect. It is the same size as the object. It is virtual. By that I mean there is no energy there. I will later distinguish virtual images from real. And it is reversed, left for right. Let me tell you uh, what I mean. Uh, on occasion, my wife makes a sweater for herself and one for me. Identical sweaters in all respects save the way they are buttoned. My sweater buttons this way and hers buttons that way. Now, on occasion, I reach for a sweater with abandon, and I put it on, and I find it is not my sweater. It is hers. And I have to struggle with finding how to button it. And what do I do? I go to the mirror and look in the mirror and do what the mirror tells me to do. And forthwith, I button it. So, we have described the image of an object in a plain mirror. I want you to think about the following, and I'll show you some wonderful business. Two mirrors inclined at an angle with an object between, and here's what you see. This image produces, uh, this mirror produces an image of that object. This mirror produces an image of that object. This mirror produces an image of that image. And this mirror produces an image of that image. And they lie on a circle uniquely defined. And the number of images which we see in such is given by such mathematics as this. 360 degrees divided by the angle between the mirrors, all minus one. For example, if the angle between the mirrors was 90 degrees, 360 divided by 90 is four, four minus one is three. I'm going to show you that, and clearly as the angle gets smaller, the number of images gets greater. And now we will see that this is so. Here is the mirrors. Here the mirrors are at 90 degrees. And if you look sharply, you will see four images. A uh, correction, three. Three. There are three. Now if I make the mirrors closer together, the image number is more. The image number is more. And now if I make the mirrors closer together, the image number is still more. Still more. Weird. Weird. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Images in plain mirrors. And now, the idea of center of gravity. Center of gravity. Here I have a support with a stopper and a pin in it, and that is the head of the pin. And here is another stopper, and there is a pin in it, and that's the point of the pin. Now you know that if I put the point of the pin to the head of that pin, and I take my upper finger away, the system is very unstable, and is most certainly to fall over. There it is. About this I shall say more, but the system is unstable. The center of gravity of this stopper is above the point of support, and the slightest tipping will mean it tips. But now I am going to put a fork in each side of this stopper, and now I'm going to put pin point to pin head. I want to make it, oh, I want to make it offside a great deal so as to make it more mysterious. And look at now. It is very stable. And I am enchanted by... Oh, I knocked it off. It didn't fall off. I knocked it off. There we are. And about this, we shall say more anon. Thank you for watching.